hello and come on in to kitchen here too so for today's video i'm just gonna run you guys uh, through what i ate today so i'm just gonna run through what i ate for breakfast lunch and for dinner so for breakfast i did start off with some omelet so here i'm just cracking some eggs and i also have already chopped my vegetables so i have some fresh onions and some tomatoes as well as some green chilies and now i did have in mind to make an omelet but then I, I changed my mind later on and I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm just going to go ahead and beat the eggs and on medium heat on a stove I just added a little bit of olive oil. And now I'm just going to lightly brown my veggies. So in goes the red onions, the tomatoes and then the green chilies. I also did add for the seasoning just a little bit of salt like a pinch as well as some chili flakes. I kept it really really basic. So I'm going to cook down these vegetables and then I'm going to add the eggs. So once the vegetables cook down, I added in the eggs and I'm just going to gently stir it just one time. Then I'm going to lower my heat. Um, then I put a lid on it and let it slow cook for about two to three minutes until the eggs is solid. A few minutes now the egg has cooked up and what I'm doing is gently um, just uh, going through my eggs making sure that I don't break it. And whew, this is the sweating part. This process is really really serious I don't want it break so let's slowly flip it Whew, we made it and that's it I have my chapati um, I made some wheat chapati I'm gonna put the egg in the omelet that we just made on top of it and we are basically basically going to roll this and make it into a chapati egg roll wrap now if you want to know how to make this chapati I do I will link up a video on how to make the softest easy chapati and that is the wrap that I'm using to roll my um, omelet with and I'm just gonna cut it into half and enjoy it it was quite delicious and so easy to make Moving on to lunch. For lunch, I had watermelon feta salad. Very simple to make. I did have a whole watermelon that I ate throughout the week, and this is what's left over. So I am going to cut it and just enjoy it as a fruit snack and also put it into my salad, which I'm going to show you. So here I'm just preparing the watermelon to cut it into small cubes. I'm done cutting it I'm just gonna set it aside put it in a bowl and I'm going to enjoy it like I was saying as a fruit snack maybe throughout the day I did add a little um, springs of mint um, that I had and uh, just for flavor it really tastes good and you can actually even add some lemon juice to it so now let me go ahead and show you what I had for lunch here I have just some spring mix, um, organic baby lettuce and some baby greens. Uh, this is the one in this box. So I'm just putting it in a ball. Now usually this is washed and ready to eat so I don't need to really prepare it. Just put it in a ball and then start adding um, the things that I want to add. So because we're making some watermelon feta cheese, I added some red onion that are thinly sliced. That's what I added there. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of the mint that was left over. 
This is a very interesting salad. I know one of my friends actually showed me how to make it. She was making it one time and I was like, what is that? And you know, that's why they say don't knock anything until you try it. It was really, really, really good. And so that's what I'm showing you. So the next thing I'll show you is somehow to make the dressing, which I added some olive oil. Then you're gonna need some balsamic vinegar, which is what I'm adding there. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of salt, which I'm using some kosher coarse salt. And then I'm going to squeeze in just a little bit of some lemon juice, like half a lemon is what I added there. And I do see a seed that went in there. I'm going to take it out before we we even mix this thing. So let me go ahead and take that out. Then we are going to put some black pepper. So let me take this little seed that <laughs> came in there. And so you're just gonna mix it up and there you have it. That is our salad dressing. And um, you know what, I'm gonna show you the um, what I used for the dressing, the balsamic vinegar. Um, so you're gonna add it to your salad and then next I'm just going to toast it real quick before I add in our feta cheese. Next, I'm going to just add in the feta cheese and I'll just give it a light toast. So normally, um, the watermelon feta salad, most people add in everything together, like you add in the watermelon and stuff like that, but I'm decided not to. So I'm going to plate it like this. So first add your salad, then add the watermelon on the side. Then I sprinkled some more feta cheese, added the watermelon, then sprinkle some more balsamic vinaigrette on top. And look at this plate. It was so delicious. Now you get your sweetness from the watermelon, the tanginess from the balsamic vinaigrette, and of course that creamy texture from your feta cheese. Very, very delicious. And I hope you get to try this recipe. Comment below and let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video so far, give it a quick thumbs up, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's move on to dinner. For dinner, I just decided to have some gyro meat, which constitute of lamb and goat meat. So here I have my skillet on medium heat. I added just a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to let it sizzle up and then I'm going to add the gyro meat, which is some lamb. So I got this from Costco, which make it way easier for me to just cook it up. So it looks something like this. It comes to the kit and it has the meat. And that's what I added on the stove. It has the uh, gyro meat, the, some tzatziki sauce, and also the bread that comes, the flat bread that comes with it. So I'm just gonna brown it up real quick. And after browning up, it should look something like this. So this is actually ready to go. I'm gonna show you the wrap that we use. So this is what I had, just some thick flat bread. And so you're just gonna assemble it just as you would when you are making some tacos. So you add your wrap bread. You, I'm gonna add the, the gyro meat. Then I'm just gonna put some tzatziki sauce that came with it. Add just some fresh onions on it and add some strawberries and that's what I had for dinner. And of course throughout the day, I had water. I drank water throughout the day. I added a little bit of lemon and that's what I enjoyed. And that is what I had for dinner. Very easy to assemble. It didn't cost me much, very economical. And I did enjoy it with some mango juice, is, which is what you see there. And I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a quick thumbs up. And I will see you guys on my next video.